Hello guys, it is that panda guy and today I'm going to be going over this rally that I launched on KL, um, yeah, KLGD, sorry, I keep forgetting like how the tag is, but KLDG and, um, or GD, sorry, it sounds basically the same. Uh, I had been launching a rally, right, and I'm gonna be honest guys, I was cocky, this is like the start of Island Raid and I was cocky, I just sent a rally in solo, I put some accounts in it. I didn't even have full reinforcements on the rally. And I said, hey, why would I care? And I also want to kind of mention that in most cases when I rally a base, I probably use Hank. And honestly, I'm thinking of testing with other stuff, but I would rather go Hank and Peter. But my biggest worry was I saw them throwing um, troops out in the field and I didn't want them actually uh, swarming my rally. And if they swarmed it, at least with Peter, I feel like it would have tanked and took it better. And I'm going to be honest, like I said, I was so cocky, I just sent the rally in. I didn't send no field presence, I didn't have any troops that could keep the rally fill, filled up or anything, and I was like, yeah, it's whatever, like, these guys aren't going to do nothing. I, I, I thought they were going to empty out the base or something, and I thought they were going to, like, swarm my marches when they came from the rally. That actually probably would have been optimal, or even swarming the rally in this case. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like if they were going to defend as long as they did probably better to swarm the rally i mean they still did a pretty good job and i think these guys put in so much effort that they deserved a solo video like i usually wouldn't do a video just off one rally right but these guys deserved it they put in all this effort in defending this guy you guys are gonna see the report and it was just crazy also in a second i'm gonna let you guys hear me as i react so you guys can hear it right here and i'm gonna be right back <laughs> Evs, bro, actually tough, man. There's no way this dude's trying to trying to hit a rally. <laughs> actually, a good defense. I mean, they just keep reinforcing, you know. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. Also, guys, I'm um. By the way, that was that was audio from when I was actually doing the rally. I was just. I, I usually don't include the audio, but I thought you guys might have enjoyed hearing that. But like I said, these guys put so much effort into defending this base that I thought I might as well do a video just for them. Um, In the case that I'm looking at um, their rally defenders on their wall, or the, sorry, not their rally defenders, but the, just their defenders in general. I think Regro and Lewis are you know, a right duo. And the biggest issue I have with it is if they were going to defend personally, I do Lewis and and then Regro as a um, support. One, because Lewis is more of a DPS character, damage per second, compared to Regro, where I really rely on his skills for the tanky factor. And if I could, of course, I would also trade him out with Tom. So personally, I would have used Lewis as my main hero. And it's also hard to say because Lewis, I mean, Lewis has some really great skill damage. So I do love Lewis as a defender, but optimally, optimally, if you have a better Lewis or even a decent Lewis that can stand up to the Regro, I would put him as the main defender and Regro as the support. Like just in most cases, I kind of wanted to just point that out when looking at this rally. And you guys know I put no field presence into this, and I had one big issue when looking at this. Right, like my rally was just tanking, like very slowly, but it started to tank, and I was like. These guys are going to stop eventually, right? Like, I, I was just letting it go, and I didn't want my rally to go for too long because the biggest issue is, for example, if I get to 1.5 million troops, I know that this dude is probably emptied out mostly, and depending on how high his um, building is, that, you know, is for reinforcements, he could hold up to a million troops. And the minimum of troops I was going to let be in the rally was 1 million because if you guys don't know, keeping a rally topped off, will maximize your trades whereas for example this rally was already halfway through and its trades were becoming worse and worse right like the damage that i was doing to him and the damage that he was doing to me were both kind of swapping out more and he was doing more damage to my rally compared to the damage that i was also putting out on him and you know it's it's relative to the size of the rally and how much is left and that was the biggest issue here and i decided that eventually i'm gonna have to cancel if they don't stop reinforcing right and I also didn't want my march to be sitting ducks. And you guys are going to notice that all my marches that were reinforcing this rally are Regro marches. And the biggest thing was, I definitely thought I was going to get through this and have my troops march home. 
Also, you guys see me sitting on the screen for a second, but I thought I was going to march home and I had a ray grow on all my accounts. And my main thought process was, okay, after my rally's done, I'm going to fight these guys in the field if they fight my marches or I'm going to have them there, right? And these guys, this was perfect for this situation because ray grow has a lot of counterattack damage and even with smaller um, health marches, he can... Or sorry, he has like a counter attack passive skill. So if they like swarm one of my marches or they, they fight it, he's going to be taking better trades than most of my other ones, as well as them having Martin in general beside it. So I feel like it would have done more damage and been more effective even at a lower health um, compared to my other marches. Like for example, Maya and maybe Akami, right? Like it would have been, it's, it's way more effective in my mind. Like it was probably the best troop type I could have sent. And when I tell you guys I was hysterical looking at this rally report, I actually was. I was losing it. And I'm going to be honest. These guys put their all into that defense. So I'm giving them a round of applause. That was some insane levels of reinforcing right off the bat. I kind of felt bad because I killed a million other troops right off the bat. And I didn't really want to cause much more damage. I think I ended up sending a Regro March to bully them a little bit. But I just left them alone for the rest of the event. I didn't really want to cause them any <laughs> any more damage than I did I don't really enjoy bullying smaller players either like it's not really the most fun thing um I, I thought it was gonna be fun having them like beat down on my marches that I had left over right but I didn't know they'd do this kind of thing with their alley defense and it was it was pretty it was pretty awesome like I got some good footage out of it they get a geek yeah, they get to get um, just the spotlight of this video I think it was pretty awesome and I mean, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. It's got about 30 seconds left, but yeah, I mean, you guys basically see them swarm down my marches. I think my trades were all right. And the biggest reason being the research gap, even with half troops there, it's pretty hard to get better trades on these accounts. You know, that's why I had the troops here and I was ready when I canceled that rally. Like I had them all ready to just start attacking a certain march. It was pretty fun um but i do hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's ending here so you guys have an amazing night peace out